Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Manmohit. In this video, I will show you how to blur a video or a picture, or in some cases, how to blur a portion of the video if you do not want to blur the complete video. Now, this effect is extremely crucial and important, especially in those instances where you want to blur the video, but you want to paste a bit of text on top of it in some points of the video. So this effect will definitely help you in that. So without wasting any further ado, let's dive into my computer and see how do we do it. So that's the interface of Wondershare Filmora. The very first step is let's just grab a video that we want to blur the background that we want to just blur the complete thing. Let's say I select this particular video, hold that video and drop it onto the timeline. Now that's the video that I want to blur. Now the first way to do is just go to your effects section, which is at the top corner. In here, you will see a lot of filters that have been given by Wondershare Filmora, the default ones. Now in the filters section, you will see the option saying distortion. When you click on distortion, you will have a lot of different ones that have been provided to us. In order to affect, in order to apply the blur effect, as you could see the second option, which is the blur one. Now. In order to preview it, you can just double click on that and it will show you how the video would look like. Otherwise, if you want to directly apply it on top of your video, hold that effect and then drop it onto the timeline like this. And afterwards, you can just drag it and just match it with the size of your video like this. And once you're happy, once let's say if you want to have the blur effect on the complete video, you can have it on the complete video. Otherwise, if you just want to have it on the portion of the video, you can just drag and leave it wherever you want. Let's say, now if you look at the video, it will look something like this. Now, if for instance, you did not want to blur the complete video, but you just want to blur a portion of the video. Now this effect is extremely crucial in those instances where there's some certain numbers or pictures or a face of a person, especially in the document kind of images that you want to hide that particular portion. Let's say if there's a person who is reading, uh, reading his passport or something like that, and you want to hide the number of the passport or any other official documents, this is how you can do it. Now, again, head over to the effects section. And then again, there would be a lot of filters and all that. Now here, what you need to click on is utility option. When you click on utility, you will see a lot of options which have been provided to us. The very first one is mosaic effect. Now mosaic, as you could already see, it will be able to just blur the portion of the video. And then you can obviously drag and drop it wherever you want. Let's just try doing it on our current video, hold that effect and then drop it onto the timeline. I'll resize it to match with my video. Now, right now, as you could see, it's right there in the center, but the best part is you can hold it and place it wherever you want. It works best as I said, especially where you want to hide a specific thing of the image or the video. So for example, if I want to hide the face of the person, what I can do is I can obviously take it alongside his face and then I can resize this to match that particular length. And once you're happy with that, you can just leave it like that. And as you could see, you have just blurred that portion of the video. Now this will work effectively if you have a video or a picture where you just can see that it's a stable kind of a video or an image, then you can just put that mosaic effect there and it will keep on blurring that particular portion until you decide not to. Let's say if I do not want to blur it for the complete length of the video, so you can just cut it or you can just drag and drop the effect wherever you want and you can resize it based on your requirements. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got what you were looking for. If you have any sort of questions, do post them in the comment section below and I'll definitely answer as quickly as possible. With that, I'm done with this video. You guys have a great day. Stay safe wherever you are and I will see you guys in the next video.